Playbook 2.0, uh, Playbook OS 2.0, that is, um, you know, really makes a number of, uh, of enhancements in, in three main areas. Um, the first is in communications, the second is around productivity, and the third is around how your Blackberry and smartphone, or Blackberry tablet and smartphone work together. I'm going to focus on um, that first bucket of communications here in this short, uh, in this short segment. Um, the first thing that, uh, that users will see is that uh, OS 2.0 incorporates a built-in messages application. And so this, um, this consolidates all of your personal and professional email um, as, as well as um, uh, social networking accounts like, uh, like LinkedIn and Twitter and many others. Um, but uh, this gives you kind of a unified inbox similar to what you would be accustomed to with a BlackBerry smartphone where you can not only receive all those messages but also send messages too. So I can send you know, a Twitter direct message for instance um, to people that I'm following uh, right from the unified inbox. This also allows me to uh, extend kind of playbook strength of multitasking to email. So if I'm typing an email here um, and I see that my LED indicator is going, uh, that means that I've got something new in my inbox, I can go back to my inbox and see what that is. I've got a message here from Carolyn that I want to respond to, so I can go and I can uh, type my response to Carolyn, but I haven't lost my place in the, in the original email message that I was composing. So you've got really powerful uh, email composing and you'll notice here that you've got um, a full suite of rich text um, editing and, and composing options too. Um, if we go into the calendar application, which is another one of the native or built-in applications, or sorry, contacts application, um, a built-in native application, um, again, we're um, you know, extending this, uh, this, this real social integration um, with uh, the ability to consolidate multiple sources of information about a single individual into you know, a complete contact card. So I've got my colleague Mike Cluley here, and um, this uh, one uh, contact entry from Mike is being popular by both public information and um, information that, uh, that I have access to as a friend of Mike's or a follower of Mike's on Twitter, for instance, um, through uh, his LinkedIn profile, and also through the RIM um, corporate address book. And so that's all presented to me in one um, unified uh, contact card. I'm able to go in and see Mike's latest uh, tweets, latest status updates able to go in and see information about the company that Mike works for and I'd be able to go in and see um, you know past and uh, upcoming meetings that I have with Mike um, just by looking at his contact card. So that's just uh, one of the ways that we're extending um, social into the contacts application. The last thing I want to show you is the new calendar application. So, um, you know, you've got all of your standard calendaring functionality, you know, a day view, agenda view, the ability to layer multiple calendars so I can turn on and off my enterprise calendar, for instance, or turn on or off my, uh, my Gmail calendar. But what's really neat is that we've taken that social integration and brought it into the calendar experience too. So I'm actually able to go in to my day and get a people view of my day. So here are all the people that I'm going to be meeting with with during my day and I'm able to touch on those individuals and get information about them. So I think, you know, for um, mobile salespeople, I mean, this is great. You're able to understand who you're going to be meeting with, get the gist on those people before you walk into that meeting um, and, uh, you know, look at your day uh, around, uh, built, or get a view of your day built around relationships as opposed to just, um, you know, meeting contents and, 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 uh, and scheduled events. Sure, Jeff. And you also had mentioned some new bridge functionality. Yeah. So how about I give you a moment to grab your phone sure. and we can uh, swing into that as well. Playbook OS 2.0 also adds um, some functionality that allow your uh, BlackBerry smartphone and BlackBerry tablet to work better together. Um, one of the ways that we do that is through something we call Open On Playbook. So I've got this picture that I shot on my smartphone and, um, you know, the tablet is actually you know, an optimized experience for, for enjoying or consuming you know, that, uh, that, that photo because of its large screen. So I can uh, select on uh, the menu, open on playbook, and that photo actually gets sent um, seamlessly to my tablet um, so that I can enjoy it or, or plug it into the HDMI port on the bottom and, uh, and share it with a larger audience. So that open on playbook functionality um, works in a number of different scenarios. Um, so it would actually also work in a... Uh, 
in a web link, I can come in here, I can uh, select open link on Playbook, and it's going to launch. We aren't supporting the Android Marketplace, but we're making Android applications available in BlackBerry App World for users to download along with all the other applications that we've got available today. Um, so Pool Break is an example of an Android app, um, and it, uh, it gets launched from the home screen just like any other application. You can go in, um, I can choose to, uh, to play a game of pool here. Um, and uh, I haven't played this one yet. Oops. You will be playing the breaking shot. Okay, so I can move this around here and line up my shot. And I pull this back. And I can shoot the ball. Right. And I can minimize that um, using the, the, the uh, swipe from the frame gesture, um, just like any other app. So here's just one example of, of, the, uh, of some of the Android apps that will be coming to the, to the BlackBerry platform with Playbook OS 2.0. Looks great, Jeff. Thank you for showing us these new features.